With Tasks and Lightning Experience, you can create one-to-one -one journeys for your leads and opportunities. This will help you close deals faster and sell smarter. Tasks are at the heart of a salesperson's work. When you create a task in Salesforce, you relate it to other records, like a contact or an account. That's why managing your tasks in Salesforce is the ideal way to stay on top of your customer relationships. And there are different views to give you different perspectives. In a split view, you can see the whole list and the details of the task you have selected. With table view, each task is a row. In Kanban view, each task is an item in a status column. Let's take a look at the ways that David manages his tasks in Salesforce. From his task list, in the activity timeline for a specific opportunity, lead, account, or contact, and on the Kanban view of opportunities. First, let's look at David's task list. David uses the list to see all his open tasks in one place. He can see the key details of each task in the list, and when he selects a task, he sees full details on the right. To focus on tasks due today, he changes the list view. He can pin a list view so that he lands on that every time he navigates to tasks. When he's done with a task, he checks it off his list. David's sales manager can use the list to review tasks that she's assigned to David and the other sales reps on her team. To view all tasks assigned to people below her in the role hierarchy, the manager can use reports. David uses the activity timeline on a record to keep a finger on the pulse of each of his opportunities. Let's take a look at the timeline for this opportunity for Assurity Corporation. On the timeline, David sees the key details of each task right on the page with everything else, including calls, upcoming events, and emails he's sent. If he wants to review, say, all the calls that were logged last month, he can use Filter Timeline. This shows him exactly what's on his plate and what he's accomplished for this opportunity. He can drill into any items to see more detail. David adds a task to the opportunity. He relates it to a contact already in Salesforce, Helene Kazak. This task will show up on her contact record as well as here on the opportunity. He clicks Expand All so he can see what the team is doing to win this opportunity. When he marks a task as done and refreshes the activity timeline, the task moves to past activity. David also uses the activity timeline to stay on top of his leads. When he converts a lead and creates an opportunity, all the tasks and other activities carry over to the new opportunity. And remember, lead conversion is also available in the Salesforce app so you can run your business from your phone. The timeline is useful for reference when he's looking at an account or a contact, too. Finally, let's look at the Kanban view to see upcoming opportunities in the pipeline. Alerts tell him at a glance which opportunities have overdue tasks. He clicks the link in the alert to take a closer look and updates the status of the task. The board also alerts David to opportunities without scheduled tasks or meetings. He decides what action to take and creates a task for it. To learn more, check out these resources and help, or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.